Hello everyone! Today we continue working with the blouse. Last time I showed you how to make a pattern. And today I'll cut the blouse, take it and try it on together with the skirt and the vest. These are the back and the front. This is where the yoke ends. This is the center back. I want to make a small pleat here. I'll make a 3 cm wide opening for it. This is one detail. I'll just make a pleat here. I can start cutting now. After that, I'll ask Natalie to help me tack the blouse to do it faster. This piece of fabric is 1.2 meters long. The most important thing is for you to learn how to change a basic pattern. I have nothing to wear. If I like an item, I can wear it non-stop. So it's a right case when I can wear the same item, a cotton blouse for example, next year. Colors fade, fabrics sag. There is nothing else to do than to sew new clothes. I added 1.5 cm to the side seams, it's ok. I can't add more than 1 cm to the princess seams. First I wanted to make a different blouse, but then I realized that I've already showed you a similar one. This is why I decided to make this one. Such blouses are very comfortable. I showed you how to make this pattern very thoroughly. This is how the flared sleeve looks like. I think that it's very nice. I'll make a notch on the sleeve top. This is the sleeve, this is the front, and this is the back. I remind you that I'll make a pleat here. Next I need to cut the yoke. I want the stripes to be horizontal, so I need to cut it this way. Have a look here. I remind you that this is the sleeve top. There is an angle here, but this line should be cut smooth. We don't need this angle. Do not forget to make a notch on the sleeve top. I have enough fabric left for a placket, facing, and so on. Have a look here once again. Notice that I got a smooth beautiful line even though there is an angle here. The yoke, the sleeve, 
the back, the front. I'll ask Natalie to help me tack the blouse. I want to do it fast. I'll make two small notches here in order to make a pleat. This is the center back. I marked all the needed details. Now I can unfold this detail. Next I need to match the notches. This is how the pleats will look like. They will make the back look pretty wide. This is going to be a casual blouse. I need to match the notches on the other side too. It's very convenient to work with such pleats. You can make them. Tag, try an item on to see if you like them or not. If you don't, you can just remove the taken and cut the same distance here. There is no risk in making such pleats. I know that I'm not going to cut anything. I'm making this blouse to wear it to work. I move a lot, so it should be pretty wide. Next, I need to tack the yoke to the back. Do not forget to make a notch in the center back. Have a look at the shoulder darts. Here they are. This blouse will fit the body perfectly. Before taking the shoulder seams, you should have a close look at the armholes. Natalie is taking the second front detail. Have a close look at the armholes. Mine is almost perfect. I just want to make it a bit more round here. I'm not going to cut it now, because I need to cut the two layers at once. This is the only way to make them even. If you see that the shape is wrong, you should change it. Have a close look at it once again, and only after that take it. I'm taking the bottom. This is how the sleeves look like. I think that they're pretty cool. I remind you that the width of the overcast is 3 cm. Notice that I'm taking the slits on the front. Here they are in the sketch. As I've already said, the width of the overcast is 3 cm. We don't make cotton blouses and shirts with 1 cm overcasts. We don't edge them with a novel locker. These techniques are very cheap. Now we can take the shoulder seams. Very nice. I'll try the outfit on. Have a look at me. I'm wearing the skirt. It's ready. The vest is just tacked. Notice that we've already made the changes Ira drew on me. These details will be even narrower after stitching. The bottom will be overcast. The vest will be tiny, just like I want it to be. When I put the skirt and the blouse on, I decided that a tight skirt and a white blouse don't really look good together. It's not too wide, but it's still pretty loose. When I put the vest on, I decided that I love this outfit.
The sleeve is pinned to the blouse. I think that you'll agree that the vest is very important in these outfits. I love vests. There are so many different types and designs of them. They can be tiny, like this one. They can be long. They can be decorated however you like, with lace, with different accessories. Use your imagination. The sleeves are very comfortable. The vest is amazing. I think that the sleeves should be made longer. Now I'll take these clothes off. When the vest and the blouse are ready, I'll show you the outfit once again. I promise. The summer is on. Choose bright colors. Be different and beautiful. That's all for today. We are Paukshte Irina and Natalie. Guys, please subscribe to my channel, write comments, share videos and press the like and the bell buttons. I really need your support. Thank you. Goodbye.